your voice in such HD quality. <laughs> that sounds beautiful. It's Can I get a spit guard for mine? I'm a spitter. <laughs> and don't swallow. Oh, Jesus. Unless it's beer. Yeah. Okay, so what's going on? We're Holy shit, we got our numbers up again. It, you guys need to go on your little phones, your little tech devices. You need to take this. You need to do a watch party. Share. Share start sharing it. Let's grow this. My sister's back online. So don't say anything polite. Where's the bottle opener? It's oh, right above my no. penis. Want me to use it? Here, look at it. I'd rather cut myself. Let's drink this instead. Oh, Fucking rude. I think it. I think anything that's an endorsement to sit down with your friends and drink beer and talk shit. <laughs> fuck, that's a job. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> I picked that. I picked this I new that. career that has been invented. <laughs> no, I love my job. I honestly do. I really do. I love being here. I love that we're all here together tonight. It's super cool. So, I don't know if we're gonna, are we starting? Do we have an intro? Do we say anything stupid? Is there like specific questions? Yeah, let's no, just sit down and talk casually. If, if anybody's got a question out there in video land, then we'll, uh, we'll answer them. You'll, you will answer them. Turn Posty down a little bit on that phone. I can hear him too much. I'm not really feeling that. How do you do that shit? Do you know how to eat? No. We don't want to get fucking. We don't own the rights to any of this music. None of it. We don't own the copyrights to any of it. And that's it. We're just. What are you doing? Are you sharing? <laughs> I feel like this is the opportunity to smoke in here. I don't know if that's allowed. I don't know if there's like podcast laws that just allow you to smoke inside. I don't think so. Shaylin's going to watch. She's going to give us some reverb. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, there's lots of... There's no intro. No intro. Welcome to Bury the Needle, episode one. Episode one, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Let's go around the table, start with Oliver. Uh, okay. My name's Oliver James Brown. I'm the supreme leader of Divine Inc. And he answers the phone that way as well. Yeah. Supreme leader. I, I'm the supreme leader. That's yeah. it. And, uh, yeah. I've been, tattooing, I've been tattooing for 17 years. Uh, I started in East Vancouver. I guess almost 18 years. No, so 17, 17 and a half years. Done it half my life. Got tons of friends to tattoo all throughout BC, all throughout Canada, all throughout United States. Um, I think I've had seven apprentices, maybe no, eight apprentices, five graduates. No, six graduates, nine apprentices. Uh, yeah, so let's go in, in seniority and let Shaylin introduce herself. Oh. <coughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you earned your spot. You go next. I'm Shaylin. Um, hi. You started tattooing when? I, st I started tattooing in 2016. Yeah. I started my apprenticeship in 2015. I cried every single night during my friendship. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now I don't cry anymore. No, I don't cry over anything. Nothing makes me cry now. Now nothing can hurt me. I've suppressed all of those emotions. <laughs> Alright. Yo, Paul. Yo, Jesus. Alright, it's your turn. Little buddy? That's it? Yeah. My name's Brandon. I've been tattooing for just under two years. I'm originally from Terrace. Actually, Shay and I went to school together, and that's kind of how I landed this job. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you cry too? No. Yeah, but for so. different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Why do you cry, Reese? <laughs> we'll hear all about it tonight. <laughs> One of the things that make you 
don't expose your weaknesses to me. That's my this advice to all of you. This is not a safe place. <laughs> I will use all this information not, against you. This is not. This is not off the record. This is on the record. Oh God. Does that mean it's my turn? Yeah. Um, my name's Reese. I am the apprentice. <laughs> I've been apprenticing for uh, eight months, seven months, eight months. Yeah, you're, it's getting something like that. The time's getting longer and the amount's getting shorter. So yeah, it's so we're working on that. Yeah. And I've been drawing all my life, so I. Don't cry at night. <laughs> so I don't cry at night. I don't think it had to do with her artistic ability. I think she was just socially emotional. Yeah, no, I, I drew every night too, but I cried while I did it. Yeah, I did watercolors with tears. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't use I let the tears splash onto the paper and then I just add color. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Painted with pain. It's beautiful. Misery is beautiful. It's, that is beautiful. I will express myself. Yeah, um, Paul Winter asked, he asked the first <laughs> question I saw oh, rolling by. He said, uh, <laughs> What is your favorite uh, trait in a protege? In a trait in a protege, I would say my favorite trait in a protege, if I'm just gonna be blunt, is just fucking showing up. Honestly, showing up over and over and over again. It's what I had to do. I don't have time to. Th I I got seven people who want to do apprenticeships. I don't think about any of them. You gotta Ever. draw good. You gotta not no. You gotta show up and be able to draw to even get in my get in my crosshairs. Showing up with art is number one. Gotta be an artist. I don't train tattooists. I train tattoo artists. You have to have a good solid art background. I don't want you just fumbling through tattoos. I want you to be confident in your tattoos. So my the. The most admirable trait in any artist that I take on is tenacity, showing up over and over and over and over again, asking over and over and over again. Doing your homework, showing up, delivering it on time, showing up to sweep. Before you even uh, before you even start a tattoo apprenticeship, there is always something to do in a tattoo shop. The more often you show up and try and help out around the shop or offer help or ask if they need anything or show up and bring coffee or whatever it might be, that's how you get your foot in the door at a tattoo shop. It's just by impressing the people that work there with your art and your desire to be there and be in that environment and just be a part of the crew before you've even been invited in. I went into my tattoo shop that I worked at every day for almost a year before I got given a job and he didn't even know I could draw. So. Any other questions? No, not the end. No? Um, hey, Malcolm didn't introduce himself yet. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the ringleader. I'm Malcolm, I'm the sound guy. He's the ring fucking leader. I'm not an artist <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. So okay, uh, can I just come in and be a front desk girl? <laughs> um, all joking aside, we are taking applications for a receptionist right now. It's not, it's not an easy job. And there's, and we have a few resumes. Uh, everybody that has worked our front desk has just got way too comfortable way too fast and just, like you really, you're there to help us and- It's a job. It's a job. Yeah. And it's too many times they, they put themselves in line with the artists and just became way too, like, comfortable and just didn't do what was asked of them and we just let them go over and over and over again so yeah if you're offering to if you think you got what it takes to work in a tattoo shop and work the front desk then we would be honored to have you apply but i don't think you really want to work here with us <laughs> <laughs> Never we do a dull pretty, moment. We, there's never a dull moment we, we split the responsibility well i like to think we do I think that there's a hierarchy and everybody kind of falls in line like Brendan and Shaylin both said, I can't wait for the apprentice to start. Oh, because you are on that position, on the totem pole. You still are responsible to help out. You're the lowest man on the totem. This is like an old school trade. Hi, what's up? Where you get it's a, it's a guild. <laughs> like you earn your spot. This is it's our not, slave. Yeah, it's like being a fucking... You shot bitch, being a slave. That's but what you, I call it. But once, you, once you're done, it's done. And it's not like we 
haze you or we target you intentionally or try and make you feel less than, it's iron sharpens iron. We're trying to make you better. We're trying to make you strong. We touch people all day. We have to interact with every. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so to say, I don't know how that. I don't know how that sounds. It's not <laughs> untrue. We we have our hands on people all day. We're in physical contact with people all day of every walk of life, and uh, every personality type, every like field. So you know, if you don't got thick skin, man, you got to deal with some crazy people. You got to deal with some emotional people, you gotta deal with stinky people. People that can't people. sit still. People that can't sit yeah. still, you gotta deal with drunk people. The screamers. The animal the screamers, oh, the seconds. sex screamers. <laughs> let's, let's back it up. But like, not just criers, like criers, like emotionally mm -hmm. getting out all my baggage. Yeah, criers. the emotional yeah. criers, not the pain criers. This is beautiful. Pain is fine. Yeah. Pain's okay. We're probably insulting all of our clients that are watching. <laughs> but we love Am them I all. a sex screamer? Okay. Well, sex there's a lot of sex screamers. You have a lot of <laughs> sex screamers. I had one down in all Jimbo has a lot of criers. Oh. And that lady that passed out. <laughs> that was a lady in her face. And the lady that what? She was passed out. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, yeah, because she said she was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you were sleeping. You fucking passed out. It was a surprise nap. <laughs> surprise nap. Wakes up. Is there a tattoo on my shoulder? Yeah. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. It's done. It's You're we good. started it, and then I guess you passed out. <laughs> so. Can you pass me that beer that I can just <laughs> open yes. with my magical your penis? My penis opener. <laughs> so hard I open balls with it. Looks better than a lighter. Okay, so let's talk about... I'm dead. Well, you can come in, Crystal. You can come in. We'll kill you, I'm sure. In a few days, you won't last. But you could try and prove us otherwise. Remember what Shaylin said. She cried herself to sleep every night. I'm sure... Every night. I'm sure a couple every of... Night. I'm sure a couple of our front desk girls have wept after they left here. Uh, here's a question. Feel free to not answer if you Okay. Worst client stories. Worst client stories? There's videos. Oh. <laughs> There's videos we don't. Yeah. No? There's, yeah. Not touching it? No, it's not that I'm not touching it. Like, we've had, I've had, I've had. <laughs> I'm bad thinking of one clients. right now that's just like my favorite. <laughs> that's a recent one. We should, that one's too fresh. Yeah. No, I you know, know who you are. We're not going to talk shit about <laughs> you. <'cause it's> like, <laughs> you know who you are. Here. You apologize. Was I here? Yeah. Yeah, you were here. Okay, I gotta hear this now. No, we can't. No. It's way yeah. too fresh. We have to get permission. If you I end up tuning in and you see this, and, is still on. and you feel like that was you, then you give us permission. <laughs> Fair enough. Heidi says, thank you for the amazing tattoo that you did for me and Oliver. She's loving it. And she loves the tattoo that I did for her as well. Thank you, Heidi. Um, Aww. so Vancouver, I had a girl that was really bad and they, they were tourists and she was just getting a tiny, it was like a fucking heart that big It said love. It was like a spiral. It had probably about seven loops. It was a heart spiral that just came, the final loop just came out to love. It was literally not even exaggerating. Literally it was one fucking line connected. So it was probably, probably could have taken me maybe 10 to 15 minutes. She screamed bloody murder from the time the fucking needles touched her skin <laughs> to, it took me all damn near an hour <laughs> to do the tattoo. She screamed and cried. I would go to stretch. I would go to stretch and I would wipe Vaseline on. She would scream like I was tattooing her. I'm like, I'm not even tattooing you. There's no needles, There's no touching, needles touching, touching your, right your skin. <laughs> I don't know why you're screaming. And he, Anyways, yeah. I told her, if you don't calm down, I'm going to put you on Facebook Live. So we did that. <laughs> Just no Greg. Now we're here. No. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. <laughs> All right, oh, that dream catcher was sweet, man. We pimped that thing out. We made it way better. Caitlin wants to know, what is each artist's least favorite area on the body to tattoo? Neck. Neck? Yeah. Yeah. I've never I tattooed anything, that. but to get tattooed was my foot. You tattooed a foot, though. No, yeah. a fake foot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fake. I wish you brought it in to show the people. 
sorry. I failed. She took it home. It's the <laughs> yeah, she needed it in private. <laughs> oh, God. I wanted to show my family, okay? okay oh, Reese, settle down. <laughs> um, <laughs> least favorite place to tattoo? I honestly don't think not to be like that, but I don't. I enjoy the challenging spots, the billboard spots. So even though the elbow and the neck are probably the most difficult spots to tattoo, or the knees, I enjoy those billboard spots or hands, hands, fingers, necks, faces. I love all those spots that are high traffic spots that people see every day. I love that. I love see, having my tattoos where people can see them. You can't cover them up. Um, least favorite spot to tattoo? Stomach is always a bitch. I honestly don't like tattooing people's stomachs. Just because everyone thinks it's going to be just like getting a tattoo and it's not. No. You try and, they think you're psyching them out. You're telling them it's so bad and they just don't believe you. And you try and get them ready for it. And then as soon as the fucking needles touch your skin, it's They're like, like this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. There's, I only had a few people that I tattooed their stomach that they weren't, it wasn't a, like instant, this is a fucking bad idea. Yeah. Including myself, both times, four times I've had my stomach tattooed. And every time it started, yeah. I was like, this was a fucking mistake. Yeah. To this day, I've only tattooed one guy who sat completely still in yeah. his stomach, and he said it didn't hurt. Oh, well, lucky him. But nobody else. Nobody <laughs> Never. Yeah, yeah. Never. Yeah. Stomach's always bad. I always hear horror stories about that. Yeah, it's just because you're not prepared. Is that if you can never... I just came back to penis opener. My dick is so hard it opens bottles. That's what you missed. No, it's a fancy ball buckle. It just looks like I used my penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brendan. Wow. Um, I'd have to agree with Shay and say the neck. Um, just because it's a pain in the ass. It's like, all right, tilt your head this way. And it's just tough, stretchy skin. You're kind of in this, like, weird, slopey part of the body that's directly between the head and the shoulder. And... You know, it's not impossible by any means. It's just kind of annoying. I find more often than not, you're constantly telling your client, like, no, I need to move, move your head here. And then you do a couple lines, and and turn around, and they're right back where they were. And you're like, no, crank that neck, please. Yeah. I would definitely agree with I've you guys that. and say, like, as far as, like, difficult, like, the, like the, as difficulty, definitely the neck is the hardest spot to have to neck and throat but as far as i look past that because i i find it so rewarding to do a good neck tattoo like even though it takes double the amount of time that's why i always go but they're like oh i'd like to get a tattoo it's like okay well how much is it gonna cost it's like well what do you where do you want to get it i was like well why does that matter oh because to do it on your arm takes 40 minutes to put it on your neck takes three hours yeah. Like, it's just one of those, you can't get away from that. It's just, like, anywhere that's, like, moving all the time and hard to, like, mm -hmm. get clearance with your tattoo machine, like you said, in between your your head and your shoulders, like, you're angling it different ways. All It's just so hard, man. It's like, but when you do a good neck tattoo, oh, it's so good. Especially when everybody sees it, just, like, out there, side of the head, neck, face, whatever. Where's your favorite place to want a tattoo? Buttholes. <laughs> uh, Always. No. Honestly, I'm really excited to do a first hand. Yeah. Hands are dope. Just like the same thing you said, just having that on display yeah. all the time. It's just like, everyone's going to be like, oh, dope. Who did that? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's just great. Free real estate. <laughs> Fair awesome. enough. Dana Pedro says, Shaylin, thanks for our tattoos. Aaron and I love them. So does Tracy and Emily. You're awesome. Oh, Dana, you're welcome. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Is that down south? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We just want to thank all of our clients everywhere. Yeah, like no we kidding. have, we have here, and uh, like Kidama is a, uh, Kidama's a totally different uh, situation. And Very Vancouver close people, Yeah. 
well, the north is. Mm -hmm. In Vancouver, people won't drive 15 minutes to go to a new tattoo shop, but we got people that come all the way from Prince George, Rupert, Hazleton, Smithers. Where was know, that guy from the other day? Chetwind? Chetwind. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Scotland. Mm -hmm. No, they came here to get tattooed, man. Just, wow. <laughs> yes, it's like, what yeah. is going on? <laughs> I had a lady from Scotland that got tattooed by me, and I was like, oh, why are you here? And she's like, oh, I get tattooed, and I was like, what? Okay. Like, uh, like, did your husband come with you to go fishing? Are you visiting family? No. He came to fucking Kinemat from Scotland to get a tattoo from me. Yeah. What is going on here? <laughs> Like, you don't have people that can do tattoos in Scotland? Like, how much is a fucking plane ticket to come to Kitimat to get a tattoo? Like, I was completely humbled, man. I was just like, I couldn't even, that's the craziest in my experience. Like, I just, I was just like, oh, thank you so much. Like, the tattoo at that point is so incidental. Do you know what I mean? I felt like this, your $400 tattoo, like, what? Is like. I spent three grand to get here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, oh but she got God. a big tattoo. She didn't get a little tattoo. She got a lot of work done. Though. Four grand. <laughs> Not four grand. <laughs> well, speaking as a like a civilian, someone who doesn't tattoo, then I think that for me it is a big part of it is the experience with the artist to say that you got work done by them. Yeah. Right? Oh, I think you have to test the low battery. Yeah. I think it stops. It's okay. The video. There's a. Low power mode? No, just, yeah, what, close. Did it stop that? Okay. Pause, Pause, report, done, just whatever. Instagram, fuck off. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Wait, that's what I feel. Is there any more questions that we're just skimming over? Yeah, tell a story. Let's hear it. What are you guys drinking? We're drinking Stella because uh, it's the only thing I can drink and not get hung over. Uh, cotton candy flavored <laughs> Rockstar. Because <laughs> I, I didn't want my <laughs> part of the beer I stick in my mouth anywhere near Oliver's junk. So <laughs> I gave up on that. He's like, I'd say, I don't know where it's been, but I do, and that's the reason. Yep. I don't want it anywhere near my mouth. Cool, thanks, Greg. He wants all of his tattoos done by me and you, Brandon. Deal. Deal. Sold. I'll do the left side, you do the right side. <laughs> Tina, what up? Has anyone ever asked you to do collaborations like at the same time? Yeah, I've done a few. I don't think these guys have done them. I had people one. talk about it, you but did it's one? never actually yeah. happened. Um, a former artist of ours and yeah. I tattooed right. hands on some guy's back together. Oh. The name that shall not be mentioned? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all of our clients that helped us endure a dark time. And I just want to say thank you to Shailene and Brendan for being loyal and holding me down. And Malcolm, one of my best friends. Is like we're just growing and that that's a good little segue into this new part we're growing and there's a lot of people coming on deck that weren't on deck Jimbo has made himself available he made himself like front and center when I needed him the most total God thing total divine appointment just to have him there to be a soft place to land in my own home and the transition through it and just having these guys work day in and day out tirelessly and just lift each other up and not tear anybody down you know I think that's really keeps the divinity and divine ink is that we try and have a good time here there's good energy here we leave all of our shit at the door do you know what I mean we come here to like do art that's what we come here to do is we don't bring our personal shit in here we don't do that you know and to the people that had to have some of that my personal shit dropped on your lap during some stormy days, I apologize for that. And I thank you for hearing me and comforting me and everybody that just stood with us and endured. It was really cool to see everything continue to flourish and grow together as a family. Jimbo, come on side. Kyle, come on side. Tristan, come on side. 
You know, there's people that message us and want to be a part of this unit. We're growing. Now we have this amazing artist coming from Italy to come spend two months here. Like, for us as a team, we're very excited to work with someone that's tattooing at that level. And people keep saying to us, oh, you guys are all great artists. You shouldn't hold somebody in such high regard. Yeah, we're humbled. And we hope that she's humbled the same and that it's a great, it's a very humble gathering of artists and a meeting of the minds and we paint together and we draw together and we watch and we learn and she comes over and watches and learns and then everybody just gets crazy better. This, that we can just see that. that this is a step off point for our shop. That everybody that's in contact with each other, it's not about trying to hoard everything in and cover and protect your secrets. It's not what it's like here. It's never been like that. We openly give the information that we have. We openly share the technology. We openly share the information. We openly share the reference material. We share everything with each other. We want to grow and be better. We want to have this. We want to share all the same skills. Where these guys walk into tattooing, it took me 10 years to get there. All my apprentices, the day they start tattooing, they tattoo at my 10 year level, the day they start. It took me 10 years to get there. That's what being a solid teacher is about, is giving these guys a foundation to work with before they even tattoo a person, is that they're comfortable with it. They're, they practice, they know it, they know how to set up, they know how to tear down, they know not to touch anything with bloody gloves. They, they, they understand every facet of tattooing before they even put their hands on a person. It's just like, oh, okay. And then I just watch them, you know, two weeks, a month in, it's just like fucking boom, launch off. Shaylin's art surpassing me in areas. Her freehand is an insane. She can just sit down, put a, she's like Kyle Freshing down at Lord's East Fan. She can put a partial pattern on just to comfort the client and fucking do the whole arm and just keep rolling. Fucking freehand this, draw this in. Do, 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 do. I need patterns still now. I need a visual. I can fill in this and that, little freehand fillers here and there. If you would give this girl the opportunity to freehand your arm and just draw on you, she would knock it out. Thank you, Oliver. That right. means a lot to me. <laughs> I do love to freehand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we all do. We love the opportunity to draw. We're all artists, first and foremost. Wow. Thank you. What, uh, what are some of your favorite artists? Where do you draw your inspiration from? I think it's just past. Where did you where did you come into the tattoo thing? Like where were you like I love that? Um, I didn't come till not too long before I ever got into tattoos. Although I drew my entire life, art has been a hard part of my life. <laughs> big, um, but big and hard. Big and hard. Wow. Big wow. and hard. Like right. my art, like my dicks. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lady, no, thank you. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> I like my women like I like my vehicles. 30 plus years old, dripping fluids, and full of issues. And black. <laughs> and black. No, not black. <laughs> rude. What do you mean, not black? That's rude. Oh, <laughs> oh love that. <laughs> oh. I think I cut you off. Who is your oh, okay. who do you yeah. who did you look to in tattooing that you were like down? Just your back. Oh, that that's an artist, Christopher Lovell. He's I don't think he's a tattoo artist though, no. but he's a phenomenal artist. He inspired a lot of my art. Or a lot of my desire to art. What was it? Christopher Lovell. Um, there's a few artists I follow on Instagram, um, like, there's a lady that tattoos in, I think it's Witchshire, which is in the UK, her name is Chantelle Cody McCombs, and she does like this crazy black and grey portrait style everything, and she's constantly posting pictures of just crazy cover-ups like you'll get like someone got 
big gnarly sleeve full of tribal and they're like I don't like that anymore and she basically did what I could only describe as like an alternate portrait style cover of like the Saving Private Ryan like DVD cover on this guy's arm and it just covered everything. Miracle work. Yeah, yeah miracle. I love miracle workers. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. All right. Um, other than that, I don't know. Just, I like cartoons. <laughs> cartoons. Cartoons are fun. <laughs> yeah. I like watching cartoons. Is that my turn now? I think no, so. No, I'm in. Blah, 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 blah. I have a list. I have a list. A long, long list. Who are my inspirations? I don't want to. I don't want to say them out of order. Damn. Should I answer that quickly then? Yeah, yeah you go. I'm gonna try and get mine in order because mine's long. Mine's. At I least know six. you don't like the like reality TV show version of tattooing, <laughs> but I know you don't like it. I understand that's that. A, but there's, and I understand but why. But that's good to draw inspiration yeah, from there. That, I understand why you don't like it, but there's been a couple artists that I can just tell are like good, humble people. Like they're not, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not like that tattoo, like fucking. Shane O'Neill with his arm, name yeah. on his arm <laughs> But, um, like, one of them's, her name's Ryan Ashley Malarkey, and she does some fucking crazy stuff. I'm calling Malarkey. One oh. of the <laughs> sullen angels. Yeah, oh. exactly. But she's, um, she does, like, all freehand, like, beading, like, jewelry, does it all with Sharpie, and cool. it just turns out fucking insane every time. Like, it looks like there's a real piece of jewelry just sitting on this person's skin. Like, it's crazy. And Megan Massacre, she's pretty sick. She does yeah. some dope stuff. Um, that's usually, those are some, some of the people that I like, kind of grew up a bit watching. And that kind of was where I drew inspiration. I was like, those chicks are dope. I love drawing. Because I drew my whole life, just like Shay said. But when I saw that, I was like, I saw women doing it and seeing them like, because Ryan won her season and everything like that. So it kind of, I was like, I want to be fucking that. I want to do cool shit like that. And draw. I want to be on TV. No, not on TV. I want to be on TV. Do not want to be on TV, but like tattoo people and like put artwork on people like flawlessly the way that they were just like challenged all the time. And they just always rose up to the occasion like of like above and beyond. So I definitely was like, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, but I've seen incredible artists get kicked off that show. Oh, probably, Like, that yeah. guy should have fucking won, and then yeah. it's like, they kick him off, because whatever. Well, the, they listen to what they yeah. said, and it's like, fuck you. That's a nice tattoo. That's a nicer tattoo. Like, yeah. because he didn't thing... follow direction, he kicked him. I thought this was supposed to be about who did the best yeah. tattoos, Ink Master. But the one thing that I think is dope about that show as well is they force artists to use, like, different mediums. Like, one of the episodes was, like, tape. And you had to layer the tape on a light board to a certain extent, to like deepen areas and yeah. stuff. And it was just insane. Like some people fucking flopped like hard, and then other people just did these huge, insane things. And it like it looks realistic with fucking tape in like three hours. It's insane. And some it was like nailing nails in a wall yeah. at like different depths and stuff. Like it tests really if you're capable of art. Of art, yeah. yeah Are you artistic? A, yeah, exactly. Can you actually use this medium yeah. that we just drop on you? And Are you creative? Ryan was one of the people that just fucking knocked out all of those challenges, and I'm like, fuck, like, you have to have a certain level of art to really be capable of all of those challenges. It's insane. And I think I that, that's that. A, I think that's something that happens here, too, is that you guys get pressure tested. It's like throwing tasks every yeah. all the time. Like the other day, I said, I want this these words in this font right now start drawing go and she knocked it out man it's like we just it's like hey pop quiz it's time to draw like go because that's just really what it is as a tattoo artist my inspiring artists oh man i think it would be unfair if i didn't say paul booth first and foremost oh yeah just, not that I ever lean towards that style, but I remember looking in a tattoo magazine when I was like 14 or 15 years old. I wasn't even a tattoo artist yet, and I was like, holy Damn. shit. Like, you can He's do that on skin. Stuff. Yeah. Like, you he can does. draw on people like that. And I was an artist too, right? So I was just like, wow. Because nobody else was doing shit like that. Then, probably second. 
I would say Mark Mahoney at Shamrock Social Club just for being such an OG and just like being such a G and just like wearing like rocking it wearing a three piece suit to work every day and the leather like sh the leather bib and you know hang the tuxedo coat up and like come and sit down and tattoo like Brad Pitt or whatever like just famous people like every day super fine line shit like just real classy guy yeah. like running a tight shop training really good apprentices like really making a legacy come out of that shop really high-end tattoos high-end artists really inspiring just awesome then probably oh steve soto big me's all those la guys doing the chicano gangster shit chicks with guns chicks with bandanas uh steve soto yeah, he's amazing. He's the guy who pretty much brought the sugar skull to the front line. Um, the clown face girls, a lot of that stuff. He's trained some incredible tattoo artists too. And I think I I think it would be rude if I skipped over probably the most important person in my tattoo career is Jimbo. Jimbo. Yeah, 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 for sure. I remember like. I remember being interested in tattoos, but working hard. Like I was doing tree work in Vancouver, and I just was going in to get a tattoo. And he was sitting behind the desk. It was kind of like we got there. He was sitting behind the desk, and he was listening to Wu Tang. He was drawing. And he's like started rolling a joint, and he just like it must have been nineteen ninety. 1998, 1999, and uh, he just put the smoking banned since '96. So he put a cigarette in his mouth, or the joint in his mouth, and just lit it inside. And I was like, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Honestly, <laughs> I was like, what is going on in this place again? This guy's drawing here. There's Wu Tang. They're swearing, and he's smoking weed inside. Okay. Uh, excuse me, are you getting paid right now? And he just looked up and he goes, I'm always getting paid. And I was like, that was it. 15 years old, I was like, I'm fucking going to be a tattoo artist. I don't care how long it takes to get there. What I got to do. I want to be there. I'm going to be there. I don't know, I, I don't know, I'll work towards that. It took a long time to get there. Another two or three years. But I knew that day. That's That was the turning point at Ink Bomb on East 16th and Maine in Vancouver. Before the Y2K panic, I knew I was going to be a tattoo artist. And I became a tattoo artist just after the World Trade Center in 2001, September the 19th. Yeah. So, that's how long I've been doing it. That's where I'm from, Vancouver. All I hear is you playing with the cord. <laughs> I need to go have ultra sensitive, isn't it? I'm gonna go have a cigarette in a sultry voice. If Joe Rogan was here, he'd let me smoke inside. It wouldn't be a cigarette then. <laughs> it wouldn't be a cigarette. You're not allowing yourself to smoke inside? No, I can't. There's too many fucking RATs. I don't think the live can hear you in the mic, can it? I don't think so. No. no. <laughs> no yeah. You gotta talk loud for live. You gotta talk loud. Alive. Let me close talker. <laughs> oh, that's good. Is there another question? Any more no questions? Any more questions? No more questions. Nothing bad. Where's it going down? We got visitors. Okay. What did everybody do today? Did you guys get tattoos today? No, they're not. 20 bucks. No, today was a, the day off. Sunday, Monday. Yeah, closed on Sunday. Sundays and Mondays. Yeah. Yeah, do it, man. Elvis has taken a lot of time off, so you got to push everything in those days. So he's working Sunday, Mondays. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Last one, go ahead. So Shay, how was your trip down yeah. south? Yeah, let's hear about that. Yes, it was good. It was good. What'd you tattoo? I went down to Oliver and I tattooed for a week. 
tattooed. It was a lot of smaller things, although I did get to do a kind of really neat one on Heidi, actually. Mm-hmm. She commented earlier. Thank you, Heidi, for letting me tattoo yeah, you. Um, we did her Dash Hound, oh. surrounded by flowers and butterflies. Oh, and it was kind of a portrait awesome. kind of painting style. Oh, what was your favorite tattoo? That if one. It was, yeah? <laughs> that <laughs> I one. I enjoyed your them all. second favorite tattoo. I got to do, um, it was actually uh, mother, daughter, and, and grandmother. They all got their palms tattooed. Whoa. Yeah, and it was the ohm symbol. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, grandma got it on one side, and then both the mother and daughter, they got it on both their palms. Is that like the God of War, like... No, it's like the no, it's little three. No, it's, it's like the um oh, for like okay. yoga and yeah. stuff, about. and has yeah, the little line in the dot. Like, own like electricity. Yeah, no, no, oh, it was the me. yoga right. own. Um, yeah, I I don't know if it is yoga, but when I went to go find it to put it on the foot, I searched yoga symbols and that came up. So. We're just going to say that. We're just going to use that. I think yeah. it's yeah. don't know if it actually Buddhist. is yoga, but... Yeah, I mean, they use it. Oh, yeah. I discovered that symbol through yoga, so <laughs> we'll we refer to it as such. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. And, yeah, I got to do a lot of cool little tattoos. I got to do some of my flash pieces. Oh, one okay. that I had sitting for, like, two years, so... That must feel nice. Yeah, it's finally on the skin. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Went to a good home. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of it that way. Then <laughs> <laughs> it went to a good home. <laughs> Adopt a tattoo today. <laughs> a small oh, fee. I'm so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> what was the question? Can you repeat the question, please? More so a statement. Now we're smoking inside. Oh, shit. We're just not going to smoke tobacco around children because it's bad for them. Reese, you're going to have to leave. <laughs> no, I'm not going to smoke tobacco around This hey. is not kind. Any questions? No questions yet. Just remember what my mom told me when I was beating up my sister one time. <laughs> I hope this was when you were kids. Yeah, we were kids. <laughs> so I was wailing on my sister. It was a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> this one time last year. <laughs> this one time. <laughs> oh, God. You like her gun, it's like, like last a year. year. <laughs> no, I think I was 10 and she was like 7. She escaped my clutches. <laughs> got away. Infuriated <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> She's like, Mom! Oliver's hitting me! Nobody likes this. snitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Oliver, <laughs> quit hitting your sister. <laughs> Kristen, no one likes a tattletale. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite style of tattoo? Sick ones. Meow traditional. Meow traditional? Meow traditional. <laughs> I just like the tattoos that have meow. <laughs> cats. <laughs> Anything about cats. <laughs> I think all of our favorite style in about three months from now, I'll give you a little prophecy, will be color portraits. You <laughs> <laughs> can hope. No, let's just speak it. Because it will come. What you charge an hour when you're coming back to East Van? I charge whatever my shop is charging. I usually do buy the piece when I'm in East Vancouver, like, fl- like flat rates. Just whatever. Yeah. Just depends. I usually charge anywhere between 150 an hour to 170 an hour. Depends on where I'm working and who I'm working with. Make sure you wave at your mom. My mom? Yeah. I know. Oh, 
She's literally texting me saying, yeah. wave at me. Wave at me. Wave at me. Say my name. Tammy. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Favorite style of tattoo right now, hands down, portraits, faces. More portraits. Way, bring me way more. <laughs> Traditional too, I kill it at traditional, I love it, but I just yeah. don't, I like to flex, man. I just feel like I'm s capable of so much more. I feel like I don't get pushed. I feel like I'm so busy, I just don't get to do the free tattoo thing anymore. Like I did a lot of free tattoos in my career, just to elevate myself and show people what I was capable of. I think the first time, like, in my apprenticeship that I saw you, like, really showcase, like, the color was Ian's knees. I was like, fuck, oh, that's... Sick. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can flex that shit out. Yeah. Like, I could do it. I just don't. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not... I can't tattoo it efficiently. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's people who can do it quicker. Like, one of Ian's knees... I need to be the fastest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need to be the fastest. Shaylin has a stopwatch. <laughs> we already did the least favorite place to tattoo. I think it was universally the neck. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. My mother is still texting me. <laughs> I want Baby Yoda tat. I have one drawn up, ready to go. If you want a Baby Yoda tat, it's ready to rock and roll. <laughs> It's a color tattoo. It's pretty sick. I got it drawn up for a bit. I just like I said, I haven't had any time to post up stuff that I like and I want to do. I just don't have that luxury anymore. I'm booking into the end of April, the beginning of May, and I just don't have to, the time to dictate what I would like to do. If I was sitting around and I'm trying to fill spots, I would post shit up, but I just don't have that luxury. Trust me. There's a... There's a hidden folder in every artist's drawer of stuff they want to do. It's one of the best questions you can ask a tattoo artist. Is like, what do you Go want to do? Flash of two yeah. Hours. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like, we don't get that. It's like, you just, it's like, what do you want to do? I was like, fuck. You catch me off guard when you say that. It's like, really? <laughs> Like, yeah, I think you did that, right? You did that to That's me. That's all I do now. Right? When I do, yeah, he's when like, I yeah. Tattoo, I'm like, I trust you. You yeah, Malcolm did that. I got to do one of my favorite pieces of art. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's a fucking. He did, he thinks it's crazy. He doesn't even like looking at it. It's so crazy. Yeah, it You're just, hurting yeah, my brain. It fucks with my brain. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I like to do shit that's like a flex. Like, I just want to do shit that's hard. I want to do shit that nobody's doing. Like Brendan the other day was flexing. He was doing this crazy hand illusion, optical illusion hand and. Jimbo came over and he was oh, just yeah, like, like, no. Jared's hand. Yeah, he's like, no fucking way. Like, you can have, <laughs> My head you hurts. Can have <laughs> all of those tattoos, <laughs> bro. I'll oh, give <laughs> your phone number. Box over. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> Not out. <laughs> nope. Yeah. All right. Uh. Well, Paul asked several times, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, I tried to ask about tattoo power to heal grief, if you could talk about that. Yeah, you have to turn the machine way up and go way deeper. Oh my god. Then I mean, the actual in a way, physical pain will outweigh the emotional and spiritual pain. No. In a way, you get your, no. kid, get no. your kidneys tattooed for 45 I minutes. Think <laughs> Tell me how you feel. That's a great way to deal with yeah, grieving. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, they are. Any type, yeah. of, any type of reconnection to the physical world. Because you is. basically, you pain, the pain kind of grounds yourself, and then you also absolutely. have something to show for it afterwards. Yeah, it's better than self harm. So absolutely. you just, it's kind of like putting something on your body, but also kind of like expelling feelings with that. Like, especially with memorial tattoos, that's kind of something like the one on my arm, that's definitely something I look at a lot, quite frequently, and it just kind of helps with it. So definitely. Sure. I'm trying to look at my arms. I got scrawny shoulders. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> Dre. Small shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's changeable. It could be worse, right? And just so everybody knows, I don't have a girlfriend. 
I will have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend for my birthday present next year. It's so gonna be my present to myself. I'm gonna pick a girlfriend. Mail order bride, Russia? Right now, man, the competition's fierce though. Don't fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone is shocked. Yeah, man. Nice. Everyone's sleeping. Yo, that's Lame. whack. <laughs> that guy comes in here, he's like, Y'all on the radio? Yes, we're on the radio. Y'all on the radio. No, we're gonna record this on cassette and mail them out. What's the oh. longest tattoo like you've done hour wise? Like longest session. Go ahead, we'll start from the, yeah, what's your longest session? Probably five or six hours. Yeah, I'm in the same area. It goes so long before your fingers just cramp up and it's like, you know, the skin can only take to so much trauma Weak. before it just doesn't, yeah, yeah. doesn't yeah. do anything. <laughs> you like 22 hours. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My longest tattoo on one person is 14 hours in the shop, 12 hours oh of tattooing. God. My longest tattoo in Kitimat was Tanya from Prince Rupert. 10 hours in the shop, 9 hours of tattooing. One shop. Both, yeah. both. The, actually, the guy, who, the guy who got the 12 hours of tattooing was like he just got his arm tattooed for three hours. He didn't fucking care. He was from Seattle. He was getting the entire tattoo done, and he wasn't stopping. In fact, uh, probably the six or seven hour mark when I kept trying to like every break stop, like because I'd had enough. He was like, like no, we're back like, down. what do you? He's like, we're finishing. Like, quit trying to stop. Like he You're just like, called me out. He's like, bro, we're doing this entire tattoo today. Like, fucking buck up. <laughs> You're like my hand. <laughs> yeah. We drove a thousand miles in winter conditions to get a tattoo from you and Oliver. Yes, I love you, bro. You're the best. Yeah. That's why you're gonna be an epic tattoo artist one day. I'm saying that. Duff had a question. Any other art forms of interest? Painting. Yeah. Pencil painting. art. Long Pencil, range pen, sniping. ink, like Does anything, anything like that. Anything that has like a pencil-like. Like seeing thing, in like the a shower sometimes. <laughs> seeing in the shower. So I express myself. I write yeah. sick <laughs> rhymes. <laughs> express anything, myself yeah. in the shower. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I, write I just rhymes. blurt it out in the shop. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I paint in the shower. Sometimes I paint in the shower. I like to paint in the shower with the dirty water. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dry it into Ro Rorschach tests on the phone. <laughs> <No. laughs> don't, don't shower. No, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> I shower, no. I promise. <laughs> I, I want to get my neck done. What should I expect pain wise? I don't know. Just depends on who does it. Take a thumbtack and stick it your neck. It'll feel kind of <laughs> like that. Don't do it. Don't hit the jugular though. I go the deepest, don't come to me. <laughs> I don't want to do it. She's like, I'll fuck your shit up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go to anyone else. <laughs> I love it. It's like a tattoo. Six and a half out of ten. It's like a thousand needles in your skin. Like baby baby alligators <laughs> biting your skin. Whoa, guys, you're you're already What's starting to finish like? each other's sentences. Baby alligators. <laughs> biting you <laughs> all over your all body. Uh, it's true. It's like baby alligators. <laughs> just everywhere. It's like a cat scratch <laughs> on a sunburn. Yeah. Or hot <laughs> knives, depending on where you're getting <laughs> it. Or hot oh. knives. <laughs> I've never had a hot knife. Though. I have. Thank you. you wait. <laughs> I just well, recommend... Story time. I just recommend, like... <laughs> well... I probably shouldn't say this. It's probably not a professional thing to say, but I recommend getting fucked up to get that too. Not <laughs> too <laughs> fucked up. Not too fucked Sign up the waiver first, like, please. Turn into the worst around. client ever. Yeah, and don't show up fucked up because we want to so you. Gotta, you got to show please up don't intact. Go overboard. There's nothing wrong with having please. a drink. If you, <laughs> I'm not telling you to drink if you're an alcoholic. If you're lightweight, don't. Yeah, if you don't drink, then don't drink. 
If yeah. you're a messy if you drunk, have don't drink. alcohol yeah. as a part of your life, then that is highly recommended for tattooing. I alcohol is a timeless medicine for. I always drink when I get tattooed. <laughs> I must. I have yeah, to. I have to. <laughs> Yeah, no. There's substance involved. I smoke weed and <coughs> drink when I get tattooed. I have to. I've even been under the influence of mushrooms when I got tattooed. That was gotta be something. Yeah, Sign the waiver something. first. <laughs> it didn't matter. It's East Oh, wait. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that was the landlord of the building gave me the mushrooms, so... And tried to make it, he was like, yeah, exactly. Fucking eating a cupcake that's supposed to be have weed in it. And then I go in and Jimbo's like, did you eat one with the gummy and the icing on top? I'm like, yeah. He's like, that's code that had mushrooms in it. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? He's like, yeah, you just ate a weed and mushroom edible cupcake, bro. Lay down and get your fucking head finished. And then I was looking for parking spots for the next three hours. Yeah, on the highway. <laughs> on the highway. With a fucking tamp or a maxi pad tape in the back of my head. <laughs> a maxi pad as aftercare. I don't know how the fuck that happened. But I had a maxi pad taped to my head. Diseases. No, absorption. No, maxi pads are Absor- sterile. And absorption. And absorption. No. <laughs> no. You gotta wrap it with something what else. What brand you was it? You can't just stick a maxi pad yeah. on something and be like, good enough. <laughs> yeah, no, God, no. <laughs> you need something Actually, else. Actually, no, don't so do like, that, kids. Hold it. Don't do that at home. <laughs> oh, what's my tattoo's your fa- done. What's nice. your favorite tattoo on we your body? You don't have enough money. Who's, what's your favorite tattoo? Brendan doesn't have this yet. My favorite tattoo? I love the memorial Whoa. one, but the newest one Jimbo just did. That one's probably like... I, my favorite. My favorite has to be my mother's eyeball. Oh. Did I did not ride? know you had that. Sorry? Did you do it? Yeah. You, yeah, you had, you had a, like a natural eyeballs. I love I doing that. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's sentimental because it's my mom's and uh, my parents were the whole reason that I'm here. They paid for my apprenticeship and they, bir- well, she birthed me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> and she's... One of the most important people in my life. Yeah, you gotta love your mom and your dad. At some, at some level, love them from a distance, but acknowledge them. Don't butterfly affect them out of your life because then you're not there. No. Your favorite tattoo on your body? I don't really have one. No. If I didn't like them, I wouldn't have them, right? What's my favorite tattoo on my body? I would say my cross is right up there for my late pastor, Sean Sabrin. Rest in peace. Amazing man of God. Taught me so much about the Lord. Taught me so much about myself. Probably more than I ever wanted to know, but amazing. You know, I would just uh, honor him. I'd probably say the most impactful thing he taught me. Uh, would have to be that leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. Just that quote. Leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. It can be positive, it can be negative. If you have influence in people's life, then you are a leader, and just you have to be respectful about that. And what you say, and what you do, and how you conduct yourself, and where are you taking people? Are you taking somewhere, taking them somewhere that's inspirational, or are you taking them somewhere that's not noteworthy and I think that that's something that I'm struggling with internally right now is really making good decisions I am the king of bad decisions I've made bad choices my whole life it's only in the last 10 years I started to turn that around and make good decisions and really analyze what I'm doing and think about where I'm going and what who is this going to affect is it going to take me somewhere that's going to benefit me in the short term but cause me problems in the long term or is it something that is actually a legacy that I'm proud to give to Shaylin or Brandon or Reese down the road? Is it something that we can all be tied to and we can talk about when we sit down and eat and be excited about and be proud of? That's what's important. What you have, what you have to sneak off and do in the darkness, that's not a worthy investment. If you can't talk about it openly with your friends and your family, you should be involved in it. If you're not proud of it, you don't love it, you're not excited about it, you shouldn't even be there. Turn around and walk out. 
if you do what you love, then you will never work a day in your life, whatever mm -hmm. that is, even if it's just going home. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> even if it's just going home playing video games. Don't let anybody tell you not to do what you like and what makes you happy. Whether it's working on your car or building motorcycles or painting or doing podcasts or tattooing or drawing or grooming animals or feeding the homeless. If that makes you happy and you love that, you should have that in your life every day. It doesn't matter what your job is. That should be, that should garner some of your intention every day. You should give a portion of yourself to what you love every day. You'll be happy. I think that's a valuable advice is that just do what you love. The more you can do it, even if it's a hobby, profession, whatever, in some capacity, you have to use that outlet, invest in that, spend money on that, move in that direction. If you enjoy it and it's a passion of yours, then move in it. I think that that's really what this podcast is about, is about us being passionate about what we do, burying the needle. It's just getting into what we love. It's just, we get up, like, it comes back, we go back 20 minutes and we talk about just leaving everything at the door when we come here. It doesn't matter what we're going through, what's going on in our lives, what we're struggling with. This person is depending on us to come in and get 100% of our attention and 100% of our effort and get a good tattoo. They don't care about what's your dog shit on the floor or whatever. It's not important. Or you're fighting with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your car's not working or that's getting worked on or you had to walk to work or whatever it doesn't none of that matters when you start tattooing it doesn't it's just that it's like it's a hundred percent of what we got is going into that every day that's something i can firmly say about all of us you haven't even started tattooing and i know that it has a hundred percent of your attention it's my dream career <laughs> yeah you that's, all that. that's all i want to do that's all i want to do I draw on people for money. That's that's the life I want to live. That's a we'll come back that's to a that. Good life. That's yeah. a good life. Yeah. I draw good. <laughs> it's okay. I draw good. As an artist. What do you do? I draw I good. I draw good. Yeah. As an artist, it's like it's great. It's awesome to be able to know that you can do art and do what you love, but like live off of it properly. Yeah. Because when you do paintings and everything like that, you need kind of a huge following sometimes to get good money. Yeah. And even then, sometimes it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. So you, it's it's really? good. It's good to have an outlet where you can do what you love and like still live off of it and still have a good life doing it. <laughs> I can say that, and there's also a lot of things we tattoo that most people wouldn't really like buy with the intention exactly. of hanging on their wall. Like that's true too. Yeah. You kind of you get to personalize things for each individual person instead of trying to make like like landscapes or you know mm -hmm. they sell so well because it's like oh that's pretty most people it's are like gonna, bob ross exactly <laughs> so most <laughs> most people can agree like oh yeah nice sunset i would hang that on my wall yeah. but you're not 99.9 percent .9 of people aren't gonna get like scary demon sucking the eyeballs out of a <laughs> skeleton and go yeah like, Whoa, <laughs> wait. i'm gonna hang that up on my Maybe. wall that's my specialty though yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really true. Yeah. Yeah. I'll free hand it for you. <laughs> that, and you need to get paid for your time. Like, if yeah. you put 80 plus hours into this crazy painting and everyone just goes, like, yeah, that's. Neat, He's 100 but bucks. It's, it's not for <laughs> yeah, me. Like, I'll give you yeah, exactly. exactly. I'll, I'll give you $100. <laughs> and you're like, cool. That'll I cover my phone time. bill, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Well, that's a real life thing. Like, before I was a tattoo artist, I was a painter and I was a street artist. And I had, I don't know if I've told you guys this, I know I've told some of you, I had $30,000 worth of paintings in coffee shops and bars and shit in Victoria. Like, I was doing art, man. Like, that. I wasn't a tattoo artist, I was doing street art. And I had, I had an agent putting paintings up for me. And in a year that I had almost 30 grand worth of paintings up, I made $300. <laughs> That's 1%. Ouch. <laughs> Oh. So even if you just talk about the materials and the, the paper that I put this stuff on, you spent more money to do it. <laughs> no, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna exaggerate. I probably spent three thousand to four thousand dollars on art supplies. Not oh. even close to breaking even. 
Yeah, it's a little well, bit I ended in the up hole. going to jail and losing all of it, so it was a total oh. loss. But what I'm saying is, is that even when a, it's good, it's not good. <laughs> like, I did it because I liked it. I wasn't that lady helped me and gave me cash advances and like mm-hmm. was my agent and helped me, but I wasn't in a good place. Like, it's not was it profitable? It wasn't a job that was taking care of me. Yeah, it was like begging. It wasn't yeah. a living. It wasn't a living at all. I shook my a, cup every day. <laughs> Yeah, I was yeah. a street artist. Yeah. Yeah. They don't call us starving artists for nothing. <laughs> it takes a long time to be, I think that we are really blessed to be in the North and have people take such good care of us here and be so loyal to our shop and represent us whole, so hard. You just look at it. I was tattooing a girl in East Van and she's like, oh, I'm from Prince George. I said, oh, okay. Why don't you go on like the Terrace Buy and Sell or the Kinrat Buy and Sell and just ask who you should get a tattoo from? And she's like, really? I was like, yeah, just do it. Just do whatever. I can do it. I was like, I bet my name shows up on the list. It was like, me, me, you, you, her. Was like, or just the shop in Just the shop, divining. It was like, no competition. It was just like, and she was like, she was so like blown away. She's like, oh, you tattoo my cousin. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, we tattoo everyone around here. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh my god, it is. It's incredible. Why? 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 It's, why? it's honoring yeah. that so many people want our art on their bodies forever. It's, I feel honored every <laughs> time someone lets me tattoo them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh wow, my I mom's like frequently commenting. You want all of her yeah. questions answered? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All Love the support. Love the support. Thanks. Oh, Tammy, uh, you need to pay for your daughter's piercing apprenticeship. You said you were going to cover that. I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I'm getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your Auntie Claire. <laughs> oh, God. It doesn't let me see like the other ones. Any more comments? I think we're winding down. Does anybody have any uh, questions? Hello, daughter. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so just you have, so you have an idea of what to expect. We'll be doing this once a month. This is not once a month. We'll be your schedule. We'll be your period. Yeah. We'll make. <laughs> we'll, we'll, make bring, your... we'll bring the blood once a month. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It'll be like divine menstruating. Uh, Let's all get in the same together. We'll give everybody cramps. (laughs) Brendan's like, I take it back. Please stop. What is each of your favorite genres of styles of tattooing, horror, wins? Neo traditional. (laughs) (laughs) Meow traditional. Black and gray. I just like anything where I get to make nice lines. (laughs) Lines and colors. Lines and colors, yeah. That's it. I like making things look Shapes pretty. and patterns, <laughs> lines and colors. If so it basically nice, anything. It nice. Yeah. yeah. Like doing I love things. tattooing. I like putting the ink in the skin. Yeah, and moving it around. <laughs> moving it around a little. No, we, love, we all love yeah. our jobs here, and we just want you to tell us what you want. We're humbled by that. I think that that's really what we specialize in is trying to be customer service oriented obviously we don't want to do jacked up shit that you bring in we want that you say oh this is just an idea we get like stressed out when you're like but i need it exactly like that please so, don't <laughs> please don't say that please, let me please. <laughs> if i post a picture of that it's not gonna go well for me no. <laughs> That's why you gotta post the one they gave you. Yeah, and be like, decided. look, it looks exactly the same insane. as what I was handed. I did Bro. amazing. It's amazing. My I reference. I do that with the kids wasn't... that like write their names and shit, or like the stick family. You put that on. You gotta put the picture beside it. Or it just looks like you fucking like, out drinking all night. Oh, uh, I like, draw good. Check out, check out this sick family I portrait. I draw so good. <laughs> I did it myself. <laughs> First free hand. <laughs> I think you should do a live tattoo while the podcast. We tried that. People didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I had no medication. I ran out of medication. Nobody liked it very much. Shaylin forgot my medication earlier, so I'm. No, a I run- didn't. You didn't ask for it. <laughs> That's not how it works in jail. They just give it to you. Oh. You Where's my nurse cup? No, it's too late now. I can't. Take it's that. too late now. 
<laughs> He's like, well, I don't my want nurse it. Cup? I need my nurse cup. <laughs> How did the music keep going? Where's that coming out? from? I it's thought it's, your phone. Isn't it your phone that's strapped to the light? I thought it died. No, it was at like 20%. Whoa, we're going to get banned from Facebook. Just tap the screen. Just tap the screen. That's oh. it. Oh. Well, that's, now this portion it. will stay there. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome, folks. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, folks. Welcome tonight. We don't own the rights to any of the music. Yeah. You said that in the beginning, though, so we're good. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think. I think we need. If they think they can get money, they're going they're to try. Go get that money. Yeah. Well, power to them. I believe that too. So we're gonna wind down. What do we get? I th does uh, anybody have a... any last questions? Any important people that got swept under the rug? While they're thinking of that, let's go around the table and why don't you give them some of your contact info, social media wise, where they can find you. I have like a million. On Instagram. Yeah, On Instagram. Yeah, that. Uh, maybe but Facebook. Sometimes. Me? Yeah. On where? Here. Here. So, <laughs> so, 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 you can so, find uh, me in the shop. I spend junkie, art junkie all my time on here. Instagram. Yes. Is that what it's right? Artwork junkie underscore. Artwork junkie underscore. That's my Instagram. Or my art Instagram. Instagram. Brendan Watney Instagram. Same with Facebook. Brendan Watney Facebook. My Facebook is just my name. Look for the big white D on <laughs> Facebook. If you Google my name, I should be the only one that shows up. Our page Same. is the, my the last big white D. Fucked. It's like a D in the black circle. Big white D. How do you say your name? My last name is Lutier. I always pronounce it Luftwaffe. Wow, that's <laughs> not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Did you take the DMT already? Did no, you have to relearn how to pronounce it? We haven't taken the DMT. <laughs> Do I have to teach you the alphabet again? Do you need to learn German? No. Nein. 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 Germans and Jews. Brutal. It's like conflict. Contact info. Shaylin okay. Alaska on Shailen Instagram. Shaylin Alaska on Instagram. Conflict, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Facebook. Shaylin Alaska. Yeah. I like how you just keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can find us all at MySpace. <laughs> Tumblr. Twitter. We tweeting. We're going to be on all platforms. MSN. We should fuck around. This is episode one. Us. This is episode one. We shouldn't fuck around. We're going to be on all platforms. But right now, you can find us at Divine I don't think Inc. MySpace exists anymore. <laughs> I'd be on MSN Live Messenger. <laughs> I heard that it is actually <laughs> thriving right now. I see, too. Can I make a profile again? Bring it back? <laughs> yeah. Apparently. I want to live in that era again. Bring it back. Let's do it. Bring back your ICQ the days of I got my ICQ number tattooed. Oh, what's going on? Like other shops in different cities. Okay. That's cool. Yes, I have. Okay, so this is, as everybody's giving their handles out. Yes. I believe so. Okay, so then this is my shout outs and handles. Did you do yours? No, I didn't do mine. <laughs> then, well, there you go. Oliver James Brown on Facebook. Oliver Tattoo Artist on Instagram. Lords of East Van on Instagram. Hashtag Team Panic on Instagram, East Van Tattoo on Instagram, East Van Tattoo Show, first annual on Instagram. This shop's going down there. We would love to just go down there and bring a wrecking crew with us from the north. So if you're a client and you have time off, June 12th, 13th, and 14th at the Croatian Cultural Center in East Vancouver, Divine Inc. will be there. Two tables, Lords of East Van will be there. Two tables. East Van Tattoo will be there. Two tables. It's going to be amazing. So Not if you have time that. off, <laughs> yeah, we're coming. We'll, we'll be there. We're coming in force. So we're coming to win. So we would love to bring some of our dedicated, loyal clients that want to spend some time in Vancouver in the summer. Maybe book a couple of days off. Come show your support. What come are those dates again? 
June 12th, 13th, or 14th at the Croatian Cultural Center in East Vancouver during Italian Days. It's going to be amazing. Don't miss it. It's really going to be amazing. The first annual mm -hmm. East Van Tattoo Show. And so I think those are most of the hashtags, handles. My mom says Lu, Lu Wafa, question mark. Lu Wafa, like the fighter planes. Lu Wafa? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Spitfire, <laughs> fireball. So on top of your social media, you guys will now be on Apple Music. You'll be on Spotify. You'll be on Podbean. Anywhere that you could subscribe to podcasts, look for Bury the Ink. Yeah. Bury the needle. No, bury the needle. Yeah. See, look, I'm fucking. I mean, the needle buries needle. the ink, but. That's right. <laughs> Bury the Let's all bury the hatchet. Bury the hatchet. Bury the, no, we never bury the hatchet. Fuck that. Axes up, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> There's better ways. <laughs> Now's the time to call it. There we go. Go to www.fthisnetwork.com to check out the podcast. This will be the fourth podcast that we're dropping. We've got another one dropping within two weeks. Beautiful. This will be a monthly yeah. meeting. Grazie, grazie, grazie. So, we'll be signing off now. Everybody say bye. Bye. Hasta luego, amigos. Farewell. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Pigs can't fly. Till next time. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Shailen. They gave me like ASMR shivers. It's like, <laughs> touching me while I'm sleeping. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Is that the dog? I got goosebumps down my spine. <laughs> You're gonna hear my wheeze in HD. That's great. Hey, yeah. oh. Oh. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Drop, Drop the, the mic. mic. <laughs>